Well, it's sometimes difficult for anyone to make their way through the PATH system downtown Toronto. There have been concerns raised at City Hall recently about accessibility. Signage, escalators, staircases are all things that need to be taken into consideration. And yet there are areas where it seems the underground has fallen short. With every twist and turn through the 30-kilometer maze below downtown buildings, there's a set of stairs or an escalator to contend with in the PATH system. Not easy with a physical disability. There are three stairs going that way. And I have to go down, like basically go down, like, you know, when people like me, I have disability, mainly, so it's hard. Sure, there are ramps along the way, some more difficult than others to access, like this one, off the beaten path behind a shop. Need an elevator? At different points, it can be a pain to find it. Then there's the need to call for help just to use it. There are newer maps that can be seen scattered throughout the system, and there are wheelchair indicators. Accessibility advocates will point out, though, there's more to being disabled. Unsurprisingly, most people, when they're talking about accessibility, focus on mobility-assisted disabilities and probably just the wheelchair. So we're not thinking about cognitive disabilities or vision loss or being blind or deaf, hard of hearing. Michael McNeely is deaf and a public member of the city's Accessibility Advisory Committee. He recently raised concerns about making his way during off hours. In an email to City News, he said, if we are trying to maintain safety in Toronto, the nighttime access where visibility is impaired, where perhaps there are not as many snow clearing services available, etc., will be paramount for people with disabilities, including those who use wheelchairs or those who are deaf, blind like myself. In the middle of it all, a spot where the only option is stairs or an escalator. We found this woman in a wheelchair who didn't want to speak on camera, trying to find her way through. The map indicates needing to find an elevator next to impossible with no signs pointing the way. Then it's down to a parking level, through more doors, and eventually out the other side. The furthest thing from accessible when already trying to navigate the less than easy path. City staff have been asked to put together a presentation based on all the issues that have been raised. That is expected at the beginning of next year.